Hello and welcome to another Unreal is Easy tutorial. Today we're going to continue along the same trajectory as our previous tutorials and build upon them. So as you see here we have a player character that can collect these orange blocks and every time the player character collects the blocks an event is triggered um, on its event graph that adds to this variable called points. And so today we're going to create a UI to show those points on the screen. So how do we do that? Well first we need a UI widget. So if we right click in our content area, go down to user interface here, and then widget blueprint. And then you can call this something like UI score or widget blueprint score, something like that. Um, now we have our blueprint here. And if we double click on it, we'll open it up. So this is our widget blueprint screen. It's a little different than regular blueprints. You'll see here we have a design view instead of like a, a viewport view, I guess. And then we also have another tab on the right here called graph. And then this looks a lot like your blueprint event graph. It's got some different events, but uh, mostly it's kind of the same idea. All right, so if we click back over to the design here, we have our open area here, which is basically our screen. Um, and then on the left, we have a palette of elements that we could use. And so today we're just going to use two text elements. So I'm going to drag this into the center as best I can and then drag this one into the center and I'm just going to line them up with these kind of blocks here I guess so I don't know if they're actually lining up but line them up as best we can kind of both here okay so on this left one I'm going to come over to the details panel here and find the content text I'm just going to label this score and this is just going to be static text on the screen um, called score and then on the right here we're going to edit this one and just fill it with the number zero okay and this is actually going to be our dynamic score here so uh, having it selected again um, the key feature that we need to enable for this is this is variable um, check mark okay so if you go into the graph right now it's actually very difficult um, to update your UI in the design side um, without uh, having links to them and you will try as hard as you can you'll never find any links to your um, design view elements over here um, so if you want those you need to check this is variable um, button here there's also another way that you can um, update variables you can use this bind thing and you can create a binding um, we're going to do this variable way because it's not too hard and uh, it's a little bit more performant than using bind functions. Um, all right, so once we have that, we go into our graph and we have our graph here. So we want um, to create our own custom event. So we're going to right click in here, do custom event, and then we'll call this update score. All right, and we have our text block variable here. Um, it would probably be better if we named it score or something like that, but if you just pull it out, say get, all right, and we're gonna pull out of our text block and look for set text. And if you look down here uh, under widget, it says set text, all right? And now from this uh, custom event here, we could set the text to whatever we want. Right. Uh, currently we don't have anything to set the text to, um, but this event, we're going to make it so that it takes a, uh, a parameter. So if you click on it, and then look over here on the left details panel, so it's a little different than blueprints again, the regular blueprints, but it has a lot of the same stuff. So um, if you look here under inputs, click new parameter, and you're going to um, call this new parameter uh, points. And then make sure it's uh, integer. All right. So now that we have these points, we're just going to drag off of it and go right into text. And it will add another node for us. We can make this a little nicer. And basically, it's just taking whatever comes in through this event, the integer of points. It's going to make it into a text value. And it's going to send it to our. Um, 
our text on our UI, okay? So I guess there's like minimum values and stuff, so you might need to make this bigger um, than 300, depending on your scores. Okay, but anyway, now you have this set up. Now we have one final thing to do. Uh, we need our player to call this update. And there are other ways to do this. Um, some folks on the on uh, Twitter uh, and YouTube brought up that you could um, create an event um, a delegate and things like that. So you could have kind of like decoupled um, uh, blueprint classes. Uh, so you could just basically call an event, and if you had event listeners, you could um, have the UI update without the player having to worry about the UI. But we're gonna set this up on the player, uh, and so the player will be connected to it. All right, so how do we do that? Okay, first, we need to go to our player, um, and we have to add another on begin play because I deleted it in our original thing. So you may already have this in yours. On begin play. Ooh. So let's see, events um, on begin play. Here we go. All right, so once we have this, we are going to drag off of it and type create widget. All right. So in order to get the widget to show up on the screen, we have to create it. And then from this class, we can look for the widget that we created. Okay, so mine is called UI score. So now I'm creating this widget. And then I have to add it to the viewport. So, so if you search for add, add to viewport, you'll see it here. All right. And then you want to drag off the creation value here and drag it into the add viewport. But before we do that, we're actually going to drag this off and promote it to a variable. We're going to set the variable here, and we'll drag our pins over. OK, so this variable, we're going to name it. If you click over here, and it's already been named, you can click uh, press F2 to edit it. And we're just going to call this our um, UI. Okay. So we have our UI, and then from this set, we're just going to continue to drag it over to the add viewport. You can also drag around to the add viewport, but we need to make sure that the widget gets added to the viewport. All right, but once we have this variable set, that's important because when we want to actually trigger the score update, we need a reference. Okay, so that's why we did that. So now if we come down to our add points method, or function, or event, and that's what it is. Um, we will now, once we increment our points, we're going to uh, trigger the event on our uh, UI. So we'll just get the UI here, pull off of it, and uh, type update score or update. And it will find the event that we want here. So connect these, and then drag the points into your points category. Or you can just drag it from your variables as well, hover over here, and it will add it separately so you don't have to have crisscrossing wires if you don't want. All right, so now anytime the points are, are added, we'll get this update score, and we can have a UI and points. Um, we can have our UI update the score here, okay? So now let's see if it worked. If we press play, our UI is now on the top of our screen here, and it still says zero. So let's see if we drag our player over. Look at that. We just collected 10 points, 20 points, a couple more points here, some of the bigger ones. All right, so as we go through our collectibles, we collect um, points, and they're added to our UI score. So you can use this to create uh, player lives or, um, you know, uh, dialogue messages, things like that. Um, and that's kind of how you get started with that. So I uh, hope that was helpful. And uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next tutorial. Thanks a lot.